Education in rural areas, as in any part of the country, is key to the development of every child. In these areas, basic facilities for children to access education are very poor and deplorable, with some schools still left to study under trees as a result of lack of proper structures, some parents also leave their wards at their own mercy to climb the academic ladder. Most parents and guardians in rural areas have little to no interest in the education of their children. Once the child is enrolled, the rest of the academic activities are left in the hands of the teachers and government. The neglect of children's education in some parts of the country has been on the rise in recent years. In the whole West District of the Volta region, the situation is not different. Head teacher at the Methodist Basic School in Awudume Avery in the whole West District of the Volta region, Rejoice Kakiotu says, the dampening of children in schools by their parents is negatively affecting the children and the school. According to her, some parents are not able to provide some basic needs for education of their wards. The first one is uh, inability of some of the parents not providing their was what they needed, the educational materials such as exercise books, pens, pencils, and other materials, hindering the performance of the pupils. At times when classes are going on and teachers give exercise, you see some of the pupils going home when when you ask them, I don't have this, I don't have that, so I'm going for it. So by the time that child comes back, exercise, that exercise has been completed. So he or she is not able to partake in that particular one. So it is making education or performance of the pupils very bad. At the Chito St. Michael Basic and Junior High Schools, Teachers have similar views and have also been speaking to City News. They also noted that they want support from government as most of their classrooms are not in a good shape. We are not uh, doing our possible best to get there. The children, they have to come to an environment that is friendly, that is uh, conducive for them to, to learn. But sometimes when they come, the, the furniture, we cannot talk about that. Uh, teaching and learning materials are not up to standard. Some parents don't care how the children come to school, what they eat, their, their textbooks, their size books, a lot of things. And uh, the community, the role of the community, the, the SMC, the PTA, they have to come in, they have to check what are the needs of the school. But all these things, everybody uh, is, is lagging behind. Some of the pupils who also spoke to City News say, they want stakeholders to address challenges in their schools. My sisters are in school. By the the textbooks required in the school, and they make sure everything they get everything to them. But for yet, even the classrooms, they are not they are not that good, and the compound too is not really good. And we don't have textbooks in the school, so it's making the academic the learning difficult a little bit for us. So we need textbooks. Good ones, and then um, we need to uh, the new sample on our to to teach in school. Okay. In order to bridge the gap between rural and urban education, the Footprint of Glory, a non-profit organization, says it has realized the neglect of pupils by parents in education, which has contributed to the low performance standards in the whole West District. Speaking to City News after an inter-school quiz competition. To prepare pupils for the future, director of the organization, Kafi Amegbe says, the competition will boost the confidence of pupils and also the standard of education in the district. Um, even in BEC, you see them performing poorly. Um, there, there should be an intervention in order to improve upon the current uh, uh, standard. Um, the methodology, the approach to mathematics, is one area that we think uh, our teachers can work on. Um, the, the, the most important thing is giving the child the foundation so that the, the child can build on it. So if the foundation is weak, the structure automatically becomes weak. School Improvement Support Officer for the area, Maso Gadadu, said 
although the capacity of teachers in the districts is equal to those in the urban centers, parents are not willing to support their children. Platform to compete, uh, to compete against each other. The schools, schools are fighting, like, fighting with, with competing with others to win uh, trophies and to win cash prizes that are, are added to this. The, the resultant effect is that it is improving the education. Kids are challenged to, to, to learn and they want to represent their schools in these competitions. So by that, all these things are improving the standard of education in uh, Udume uh, area.